Gentlemen, women aren't sugar, spice, and everything nice. Women are a lot of things, but nice isn't one of them. In this video, we're going to explore the true nature of women and the dark side of women. Now, this isn't a video where we're going to hate on women or be against women. I am for women and I'm on women's team. I was raised by my mom and I believe you should respect women and that women are cool. But with that being said, women do have a dark side and it is your job as a man to see not only the light side of women, but also the dark side. What we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna balance out your view so you don't only see women as sugar, spice, and everything nice, but also as bad motherfuckers. That's right, I said it. Women are gangster once you really know their true nature. I've been in the deep study of seduction for over 25 years. And the deeper I go into the study of women, the darker it gets. I'm the kind of guy that loves women and I would have loved to say, hey, the deeper I went, the lighter I found them to be. But the truth is, the deeper I went, the darker it got. So in this video, I'm going to share my discoveries with you. This video might turn into a two or three part series, but let's just start in no particular order, investigating and discovering the different dark sides that women have. There are two characters that are automatically skeptical of women. Do you know who those are? Character number one is women. Women are automatically skeptical of each other. Character number two, can you guess who it is? The second character who is automatically skeptical of women is a pro seducer. The two characters who are automatically very skeptical of women are the two characters who understand women. Women understand women and professional seducers understand women. As a 43 year old male who's been in the deep study of seduction for the past 25 plus years, I am very skeptical of women. Now, don't confuse that with me saying I hate women or I'm against women or I'm judging women. No, all I'm saying is that I understand the creature called woman and I understand, yes, she has a beautiful light side, but motherfucker, she's got a motherfucking dark side too. So you better watch out. Now, before we get into the specifics, let's just put out a very easy example so that you know that women can be bad motherfuckers. What do we see in the majority of married couples? The majority, the average, not the exceptions, the average. What we see in average couples is that the guy has lost his balls. The woman has taken his balls, put them in a jar, and put them up on the shelf. Every time this guy wants to do something, he has to go and ask mommy, oh, sorry, his wife. The very fact that the majority of relationships these days involve the guy having his balls detached and put in a jar shows you how badass women are. One important reason why you gotta master the game is that when you get in a long-term relationship, you have to have enough game to know how to keep your balls attached and not have her take them from you and put them up in a jar. Let me tell you a little story of what got me started investigating the dark side of women. I was raised by my mom. For you guys, for us guys who were raised by our mothers, we tend to see women in more of like a halo effect. Like they're innocent. They can't do anything wrong. If anything's wrong, it's our fault. It's never their fault. Because I was raised by my mother and as a child, you think your parent is God. Therefore, you do not question your parent. The carryover that happens when you're raised by your mother is you grow up not questioning women. You grow up thinking they're the good ones. I'm the bad one. And we automatically give automatic approval to women. And so what this video is going to do is it's going to help you swing the pendulum back to the middle where you don't see women as evil, but you don't see them as innocent either. Human beings are all light and dark. We have to see both if we want to operate properly in this game. I give a special shout out to you brothers who were raised by your mothers because we guys who were raised by our moms tend to have this 
view of women that they can't do anything wrong and we're always the wrong ones. No, you got to question. Is she being nice? Is she being not nice? Is she nice? Is she an asshole? Investigate. Question. Don't automatically assign her approval or innocent. Instead, find out who she is. There are good women. There are bad women. There are good men. There are bad men. Let's learn something from the book, The 48 Laws of Power. In The 48 Laws of Power, Robert Greene says, Never appeal to a human being's mercy. Appeal to a human being's self-interest. Inside this game, women are driven by their self-interest, never by their mercy. The game of seduction is cold-blooded and self-serving. If you want to get women, you need to appeal to their self-interest, never to their mercy. When you're playing this game, appeal to her two needs. What are her two needs in the game? Security and adventure. In order to get women's attention, you need to offer them the thing that they want. Your mistake is that you're offering them nice. Hey, would you like some nice? How about some nice? How about some kindness? Women don't need nice. Women need nice like I need tap water. What you want to offer her is security and adventure. Hey, would you like to feel more safe? Hey, girl, would you like to go on this amazing adventure with me? That's when women are going to start paying attention to you. So if you want to influence women, appeal to their self-interest, never to their mercy. Women are gangsters. That's what I've realized. Women are natural born motherfucking gangsters. I'm a dating coach. I hold live seminars where men fly across oceans to learn how to be bad motherfuckers. Why? Because women want bad motherfuckers. So follow my logic here. If women want a bad motherfucker, then what does that make women? If a woman wants and needs a bad motherfucker and she doesn't need or want a nice guy, what does that make her? That naturally makes her a bad motherfucker. She's a bad motherfucker looking for a badder motherfucker. You've got my students flying across oceans to come to workshops where I teach them how to be badass sexual motherfuckers so that they can attract women. So... That logic alone should shift your perception of women from sugar, spice, and everything nice. When Jad's looking at girls, he's like, oh, look at that gangster. Look at that gangster. Look at that bad motherfucker. That's a more accurate view of women. Women don't like nice guys because women themselves aren't nice. They're kind. They're smart. They're intelligent. They're all these things, but they're not nice. So what does this word nice mean actually? Well, one definition is it means weak and foolish. So the reason why a woman doesn't want a nice guy is because women see nice as weakness. If you're nice, that means I can manipulate you. If I can manipulate you, that means you're not on my level. I don't want a fool. I want someone who's as intelligent than me or more intelligent than me. When you're coming in and being nice and doing her favors and letting her disrespect you or take advantage of you, all you're demonstrating is that you're not on her level. A woman wants a man on her level or above. When you're being nice, all you're demonstrating is that you're a fool. So take this lesson that I learned myself. Inside this game, women are terrible at distinguishing the difference between kindness and weakness. Let's say that again. Women are terrible at distinguishing the difference between kindness and weakness. Meaning, every time you're like, oh, I'm going to be a nice guy. I'm going to let it slide. Oh, I'll be a nice guy. I'll move her couch for free. Oh, I'll be a nice guy. I'll do her this favor. All she interprets that as is, huh, chump, huh, idiot, huh, weak ass bitch. So that's why, as a man, you have to be very careful with what you do and don't do with a woman because oftentimes when you think you're being a nice guy, she's looking at you like you're a dumbass dope who she was able to trick and take advantage of. So how do you stay out of this trap? Easy. No free favors. Hey, Jad, can you move my couch on Saturday, please? Um, no, sorry, I'm busy. Or, huh good one. Or 
Sure, Jessica, I'll help you move your couch on Saturday, but then afterwards you can take me out to a nice steak dinner. Always remember, that woman, she's not that sweet little Bambi that you see on the exterior. She's a gangster. And what is a gangster always looking for? He's always sniffing. Where's that weakness? Uh, is this guy weak? I'm going to fucking cut his head off. Women are very similar. Except they don't cut your head off. They simply just don't fuck you. So here's another dark side about women. The hotter a woman is, the less friends she has. Why? It's because women are highly competitive with each other. If Sally is super hot, nobody wants to hang out with her because every time everyone goes out, guess who's getting all the attention? Generally speaking, women hate women. That's controversial maybe, but in a lot of instances, that's what women have confessed to me in private, even though these days in public, they probably will never admit that. But you know what? Let's say I'm lying. Let's say I'm wrong. Prove it to yourself. I'll give you an experiment that you can do to verify what I'm saying. The next time you're around a group of women who are meeting up socially, I want you to observe something. This is what happens when a group of attractive women meet each other. Okay? So, you know, some girls are sitting there and then another girl comes in and then they're like, Oh, hi! Oh, so nice to see you! And there's this like exaggerated feeling fake enthusiasm and there's there's a principle in life whatever extreme behavior you see from a person assume the opposite is true so when these women are greeting themselves in this exaggerated way oh sally oh my god you look so nice oh is that a new dress the reason why you're overcompensating is because you fucking hate Sally and you think she's a bitch and you're pissed off that she's hotter than you. And so you're over exaggerating your smile and your tone now. Oh, so nice to see you. Translation, Sally, you fucking bitch. I fucking hate your guts. Oh shit, you look so much better in that dress than I look in my outfit. Fuck you. That's really what they're saying to each other. So observe that, and that is a pure confession of how a lot of women really do not like each other and are not happy that the other one is hotter, prettier, smarter, more successful, etc. So I'm going to stop this video here. We'll see if I create some follow-ups. You can comment below if you want to hear more about this dark side of women. I remind you, men have a dark side too, but this video and this channel isn't about men's dark side. It's about women. And once again, I repeat, I love women. I am on women's team, but I am also a man who has a balanced view of both women and men. And I think it's important for you as a man to also have that balanced view. A man who does not have a balanced view of women can get in a lot of trouble, get mixed up with manipulative women, and that woman can literally ruin his life, break his heart, and crush him. My job is to protect my brothers. So I'm protecting you by letting you know women are not all sugar, spice, and everything nice. They also got a dark side. Make sure you subscribe and check out the links below this video for my special trainings.